Greetings everyone and welcome back to another episode of Tough Toy Tryouts. If this is your first time here, consider clicking that subscribe button and set up alerts by tapping that bell icon so you can always stay up to date with all the happenings on the channel. This week, whoops, cut, try this again, finally. We're returning with yet another Kong product, and this one might be the prettiest of toys yet. The Kong Squeeze line offers a variety of plastic dog toys for light to moderate chewers, and this one is filled with a material that crackles similarly to empty water bottles. It's not really meant as a chew toy, but should your pup destroy this baby, all materials are non-toxic. So now that we know what we're testing this week, let's roll this thing on over to Story for a week's heavy abuse. But first, a word from our fake sponsor. Is your dog making too much noise all the time? Is your dog constantly playing around driving you crazy? <laughs> Think there's no answer? You're so stupid. There is. Kong squeeze. Finally, there's an elegant, comfortable toy for dogs. couldn't hear anything. Is your dog one-legged? Is your dog fat, skinny, or an in-between? That doesn't matter, cause one size fits all. Kong squeeze. You'll be smitten. So come on down to Patty's Pub. We're the home of the original Kong squeeze. Bark. God, I love that show. Anywho, here's what's left of the squeeze ball after several hours of fetch. How many days did this sparkly wonder last? Let's find out along with our ratings. For safety, this toy ball receives a two. The plastic material can potentially rip into smaller edible pieces, and should they get inside the outer shell, there's bits of plastic which make the crackling sound that could be eaten as well. It goes without saying that you definitely should not leave this toy out with your pup unattended. For design, I give this Kong product a 4. I like that it's much quieter than a squeaking toy and it has a very nice bounce making it ideal for fetch. I enjoy the jeweled aesthetic as well, but what I don't like is the seam that joins the toy together, which ended up being the weak point for this toy. It seems that Kong needs to develop a new way of putting this ball together. And here comes longevity, where the squeeze got a 2. While Story got a good 6 hours of fetch with this toy, that was only over the course of 2 days. Did I mention Story likes fetch? We allowed Story to chew on it a bit between throws, but she definitely wasn't trying to destroy it. Had that been the case, the ball likely would have been gone within a couple hours. That leaves us with a price which redeems this toy a bit, as it receives a 4. Longevity aside, at only $4.44 on Chewy, it's a really good price if it's used purely for fetch with little to no chewing at all. It's one of the cheaper Kong products and it's available in a smaller and larger size with prices to match. For reference, the size in this video was the large, which is approximately 3 inches in diameter. So after plugging the numbers into my classic Casio calculator watch, I've determined that the Kong Squeeze Crackle Ball in the large variation receives a solid 3. As described on the packaging, it's only meant for fetch and light to moderate chewing, but I'd go as far to say that there should be little to no chewing, as the plastic quickly weakens and the seam splits. If your pet is gentle with their toys, then I can definitely recommend it, especially with its low price. Plus, come on, it looks cool. And that, sadly, is where we end this week's episode. We hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to show everyone by hitting that like button. It really helps us out. Also, don't forget to check out our naptime series where you can relax with soothing music and binaural beats, which ease your brain with alpha and theta waves. Ooh, sciency. So until next time, have a wonderful week, and thanks for watching.